Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 4652 Lower Drive here in Lake Oswego. We are located at the rear of the unit. I try to describe everything as if you're standing, in this case, kind of in the parking lot. Or just in general, as if you're standing out front facing the front of the building or the unit. So, um, as I understand it in here, these units do all appear to be shared. I don't know if they... I think they've split them into the left and right halves. So I, I want to say that only the, you know, the units on, on your half of the building are tied into one particular line. Um, but it's hard to say without having access to every unit to run water. Anyhow, we're gonna check the overall condition, serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running. So right out back here, you've kind of got this wall under the uh, power meters. And at the base of that, you've got this clean out. There's another one here in particular that I believe is for the other half of the building. I've already done this with a toilet flush and running water and timed it, listened to it, and this is the particular clean out for your half. Anyway, we're dropping into four inch cast iron pipe. Water is running. Switching over to ABS pipe immediately upon access. We'll take a look at the start there. My camera kept getting gunked up every time I dropped into it. So let's see if there's something going on. Um, the last unit, it wasn't this building. It's a different building. But had some very, very extensive root intrusion issues. And right now my camera is upside down in case you wonder why the water's at the top of the screen there. All right, so we're picking up another building right here. It looks like Y connecting in. And so we'll, we'll take this out to a reasonable extent. These are all kind of interconnected sewer lines. You can spend all day out here scoping each end of them. They're all tied together. You can, there's, there's another tie-in right there too. We are now in standard PVC pipe. So it looks like they have done some level of updating in here, which is nice to see. You should have seen the other unit. The other one was, I probably had six or seven root balls the size of my head in the line. They were just massive. Yeah, there are some roots right there, so. Anyway, when you get out here a ways, we're kind of getting into the part of the line here that has not been dealt with yet. This is, the good thing is, we're getting to where we're 75 feet out. The extra plus side for you in this particular circumstance is because you're on the upper level, um, by and large, most of the brunt of a backup is gonna get absorbed by the lower units, luckily. That's just typically how that goes. The only way that that backup would heavily affect your unit is if there was enough water running at one time that it was able to overwhelm things and actually climb up. Anyway, 80 feet puts us way on the other side of the courtyard back here. I was a lot further than I got on the other one. The other one I could only get out about 30 feet or so. The root balls stopped me up. But that right there is getting right around the area where the other building I scoped connects in. So anyway, I believe the HOA in here does appear to be aware of it. And I'm really glad to see that your end of the line here has been dealt with by and large. Now you've got a little bit of standing water right here. This is not the kind of stuff we're looking for on a shared sewer line. It's more so the severe stuff because the HOA generally is responsible for the pipe on the outside. And it is, it is worth contacting them too to find out. Generally speaking, when you have units stacked on top of each other, um, when they build these things out, they usually do it in an efficient manner. And so a lot of times the bathrooms for the unit underneath you will be directly under yours. And so to some extent, even the piping within the building is, is, is often shared as well. 
So it, it just from a, from that standpoint, it'd be nice to know if they take any responsibility for that stuff too. All right, good deal. What I was worried about right here, right when we dropped in, is that you've got a transition from cast iron to ABS right here. There was just some debris sitting there when we dropped in. Transition joints are weaker joints to root intrusions. Anytime you have a, a new and old piece of pipe meeting each other, those joints are, are weaker to roots. But everything's all good there. There was just probably a chunk of toilet paper sitting in the base of the line there when I dropped into it. Anyway, good flow all the way out there to about 80 feet. So what this line is doing here is it shoots I've actually had the chance to locate some of this. A lot of it is running underneath this gravel, kind of what looks like a dry creek bed area. And where we got to is, is way over there where the, where the uh, creek bed starts to bend to the right. And one of the other units I scope is this building over here. And that's their line is, is the one that's not in good shape. Yours eventually connects in with it, but it's so far out um, that it would, it would take a, a fairly significant circumstance to actually get a backup to occur from that distance, 80 feet's getting out there a long ways. You need a pretty hefty blockage to accomplish something like that. Not that it's impossible, but you've got, you've got some good things going in your favor here. Luckily, you're on the upper unit, um, where by and large, you're fairly safe from a, from a lot of the really nasty part of a sewer backup. And everything up to that point is looking good. Some There's some, there's some subtle standing water issues, but it's nothing significant, nothing I'd recommend to repair on anyway. Even if this were a sole sewer line for you on its own, that little spot there where we had standing water, it's maybe a foot or two long and holding about a half inch or so of water if you actually drain the line out completely. So nothing, nothing significant at all. Anyhow, sewer line is functioning properly at this time out to about 78 feet. Um, at that point forward, you've obviously got some issues um, that, that that stuff that affects other people much, much more than it does you. But it is something that the, you know you guys want to make the HOA aware of, and I believe that they are already, so I'm sure it's on a, on a repair schedule at some point to get dealt with. But all the updated pipe here is looking good. Everything's intact, and it's a very clean line too.